Hello there, YouTubers. It's Mubit here again uh, with a quick vloggerty vlog type geeky thing for you. This is um, me joining the party at the TFYTC, um, which is my top 14 bots of 2014. Now, this isn't the uh, top 14 bots released in 2014. This is my top 14 bots that I personally picked up in 2014. Now, uh, the new Combine Awards were probably on there, but uh, I only picked those up in January technically, so unfortunately I can't include them. But here's the ones I picked up. There are some random stuff because I like doing car boot hunting and charity shop hunting, so I'll try and keep it quick, but hopefully you'll get, get a kick out of all the random stuff that I've picked up. Here we go. Okay, so at number 14, it's this spangly bugger, which is the uh, animated Shotwave. Um, good bargain for me. I picked him up at my local charity shop for, I think it was £2? So, can't argue with it. Yeah, it was £1.50. And he's complete, as far as I'm aware. Um, see, I'm not that bothered about being co that complete with, with all your um, guns and things. Because, you know, I like the play damage and I like just the, the, the joy of the hunt. But yeah, I like this guy. Two different mode, two different bot modes. Uh, all pretty good alt mode, sort of. Yeah, it's uh, the animated shot wave. <laughs> At number thirteen, it's the twins. Yay! Um, never had these as a kid. Pretty good. Uh, one of them's even got the gun, which is kind of cool. Um, all yeah, there you go. Um, still not used to my camera setup yet. Um, these things are a lot of fun. I like them. I, I just I like gimmicky things. Uh, you know, they're twins, they just fold up. You've probably seen these. But their alt modes is they just fold up like that, and then you pull you pull them back, um, and they, as you can see there, and eventually pull them back, and there you go, the legs come out and they flick up. A lot of fun, there's a, you know, you've got the, the flying one and the tanky one, and yeah, they're lovely, I like these. Uh, again, um... These were a thrift shop prick pickup for I think they were a fiver, so yeah, not too bad really. <laughs> At twelve, it's the Mama Jamma himself, um, Optimus Prime. This is a movie one. I can't remember the um, exact name for this guy. Um, Nightshade Optimus, I want to say, um, but he's awesome. This is the bargain of the century. This one, this one I picked up from a charity shop in Lytham St Anne's when I went up to see the in-laws. And for the lowly price of two pounds, and it's huge. It's a big leader class thing. It's chunky. It's you know, I'm not into the movie bots, but this one I love the colours, um, kind of a Decepticon-y kind of colours, and the electronics still work. So uh, maybe if I turn my light off, electronics still work. Check this out. Yeah, that's what we like. Night pipe and he's got lights for eyes. How cool is that? <laughs> At number 11, it's kind of a cheat. It's two of them. It's Jazz. This is the Creo Jazz. I don't know if you guys are going to flame war me for it being kind of Creo Lego y type stuff. But this guy's awesome. And look at the little, little Creon. He's amazing. He's so, so cute and little and he looks like this guy here. Yay! Look at that. Mm. Um, I picked up this jazz here um, for, again, um, about three quid. And, again, he's play damaged. Um, the stickers are actually in really good nick. I don't even see that. But out of all my pickup charity shop ones that tend to come a bit foobar, these are actually quite a good, decent nick. He's a bit loose, a bit, flop, bit floppy, a bit meh. But he's a lot of fun. I like him. Um, again, play damaged and lovely G1 gorgeousness. And these guys sit together on my shelf. <laughs> At number 10, we're talking Cyberverse because I love collecting Cyberverse figures. Um, and this is really hard. I've got a massive box full of Cyberverse figures down there. And it's took me ages to find my favourite one. And unfortunately, I've picked favourite ones, not sing singular. Um, technically, I picked Bulkhead up here. Um, I think it was December last year. I, as in 2013. But it might have been January, so I am including him. He is the best Cyberverse mould going. There's various versions of him, various repaints and things. He is a hunky chunk of loveliness. Um, the second one is is quite a surprising one. And it's the... Um, I can't remember his name now. I think he's called... Um, I think he's called Evac. Yeah, yeah, he's called Evac. 
and he is lovely. He is the um, ride car from the Transformers movie ride down at Universal Studios. And this is a little evac sort of um, souvenir, if you will. Um, and he's lovely. And he, his car mode's fantastic. Check this out. There you go. Check that out. It's lovely. Um, I might use a proper camera next time. This isn't focusing very well. Um, but there you go. Is it, that's his cam? That's his car mode. Um, there isn't a window in the actual um, ride. Obviously, that's where you sit. So there's two rows of seats there. And he's lovely. He's all like futuristic Cybertronian y angular loveliness. Yes, we like Evac. Honorable mention as well too. Not technically a Cyberverse, but the Bulkhead Fist, which is a weapon. Um, that you get in um, Gacha T Takara Tomi Gacha toy things. Um, yeah, he's just a blind bag thing that's a weapon, and he is also bulkhead, so he looks like this. There you go, he transforms into a teeny tiny bulkhead with a little teeny tiny head, and he's lovely. And I actually have him on one of my um, displayed with actually one of my figures that's coming up later on. At nine, it's this Mama Jammer. Um, again, charity shop pickup. Was it a charity? Yes, it was a charity shop pickup. Um, I believe this one was. That's oh, on the back, actually. This one was four ninety nine, and he's awesome. I mean, oh, he's he's a decept. He's obviously Megatron. He's a Decepticon. He's purple. He's got crazy ass colours. He's a bit gappy on the side. If you lift his arm up, you can see straight through him. There you go. Um, but from the front, it looks great. He's all clicky, clacky, and... Oh, it's still in a great nick. Really good paint job on him. The paint's really good quality to say it's been played with. Um, he's just lovely. I love him. And I love the... He's got a little gimmick where the uh, jet engines come out. And his car mode's just like pretty cool it's like a batman tumbler if you know if the joker built it and painted it so yeah he's uh, he's a big thumbs up for me next up it's some crossovers for you again because i can't pick between the two uh, i'm showing the two i picked up the, um this year actually we've got crossover darth vader who is great i mean again he was i think he was a pound um, and he's lovely. He turns into a TIE fighter. I mean, I prefer Star Trek, and we'd be great if some Star Trek crossover -y type things like that. That'd be amazing. Ah, oh. but, um, yeah, he's lovely. He's got both his lightsabers. As you can see, there's one in his thing. One of his, one of his TIE fighter things turns into, uh, a shield, and the other one turns into his cape. Bit of imagination, but he's all, like, G1 chunkiness. Clicky, clicky, clicky. And he's just nice. I like him. But my favourite... Who is the actual one of this number? Is of course Marvel crossovers Hulk, and those of you on the um, TFYTC will have seen lots of photos of him since I joined um, in various situations, hanging from Christmas trees and um, chandeliers in the in the ceiling and things. He's so good, so much fun to play with. Again, picked him up from the charity shop for a couple of quid, um, and he's just lovely. His alt mode is perfect. It's a tank. Which, of course, Hulk's going to be a tank. I love Marvel. I love superheroes. And this guy, oh, he would be higher. He would be a lot higher if it wasn't for the ones before. The, he nearly made it to number two, in fact. Um, it's hard to put these things in an order. But it's very hard to list things because we've got so many cool purple things. And anyone who knows me lo knows I love a bit of purple. It's my favourite colour. Um... And this is um, Slug from the new Transformers movie. Um, don't normally like movie bots, but I like this guy. He's all angular and he's purple and he's got lovely reds. He's just great. Double swords, always a win. I like a bot with swords, um, which is why, well, Will, if it was this time last year, Wheeljack from Transformers Prime would have been on this list because he's got double swords as well. He's just, he's great. A lot of people slag these things off. The plastic quality is not great, but it has improved a lot with the Combiner Wars line. But he just looks good to me. Um, I know he's not everyone's favourite. I know some people prefer... I think it's Slash, is it, up there? A lot of people prefer him. Um, but I just like him, and I like the fact... I like knights and castles, and he looks like a... You know, all, all the Dinobots look like knights. He's just great. I like him a lot. But speaking of Dinobots, 
Here's my next one, who is a cha- another charity shop pickup. In fact, no, it wasn't. It was from my local thrift shop in Kirkby that I love to bits. Uh, Kirkby Sales and Exchange. Hello, guys, if you're watching. Um, these guys hooked me up. I've never had a, a, a Dinobot in G1 before, ever. Uh, when I was a kid, I never had them. Um, don't know why, I just never got around to asking for them, I suppose. But there we are. He's lovely. He was cheap because he's played damage, but that's why I like them. I, I'm not that bored about them being absolutely perfect. Uh, my new bots are try and keep, you know, pretty decent, but these are, these old ones are, you know, all the charity shop and thrift shop pickups, you know, I don't mind them being played damage. But to be fair, his chrome's still lovely. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. His nightmare to film. His stickers are still in pretty good nick. I don't need to go to repro labels for this guy. And he's lovely. I mean, his legs are all floppy, whoppy, whoppy. Um, and he doesn't quite click in on the tail at the back. Uh, very well. Oh, he's actually behaving today. But he's lovely. And he's... And he goes, nom, 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 nom. Yes, I am lovely. Bye, bye. Into the top five now. And at five, Soundwave. Soundwave's my favourite character. Um, I've got a few Soundwaves. Um, I would have put in... I've put in honourable mentions the uh, animated sound wave that I picked up, but I haven't opened him yet. So, I, you know, I'm only count ones I've played with. Um, there's two versions. This is the this is obviously the first version, which is probably one of my favourite robot moulds of last year. I think it was a year before when it came out, but when I picked it up, if you will, I love Soundwave just because. Well, you know, I love Cyberverse, and Soundwave always has his little minions, and there, there's a little laser beak there that goes inside his chest. Then you got the Beast Hunters version, who has got a little Ravage inside his chest, which is pretty cool. You know, some people did poo-poo on these things, but I love them. I love I love the lankiness. I love the character in Transformers Prime. He's all kind of like slinking around and doesn't talk, and he, like he's plotting, you know, and, and just quietly just getting on with his day, staring into your soul. <laughs> At four, one of my favourites, just because um, I think he's the only Transformer with a peg leg. Oh, yes! It's Thundertron. Um, I don't like Beast Formers normally, but this guy is fan dabby dozy. He's like a flying space lion thing. And, uh, oh, my light's too bright for, for the white there. But he's lovely. He's got a peg leg. He's got another foot there if you want it, but you can turn that foot into a parrot if you want for it on his shoulder. Which is awesome. I've got him currently like with a mod because the sword is awesome, but it's got these one of these stupid little um, light things on the bottom there. And that, that's the battery compartment. Uh, not the best in the world, but obviously a pirate's got to have a sword. I think I might get a Doctor Wu sword for this guy, um, and then I can have the this this foot as a, you can mod it as a parrot. You've probably seen a lot of mods on YouTube about that. But this guy's awesome. He's eminently poseable. He looks badass. He's a pirate. He's from the draw. At number three, the things that I played with the most this is where I'm talking about things that I played with more than anything um, in my top five. These bad boys. I don't know if you guys will count them as bots, but I love them. Again, Cyberverse fan, and I like gimmicky stuff. And these are the Soundwave cassettes from uh, Fall of Cybertron. They are fantastic. My favourite one being, of course, Ratbat. Um... But I just love the gimmick where you drop it on the floor and it just opens up. I won't be able to demonstrate this, but uh, you can go like that and it goes, and he turns into a little bot, little tiny bot, going, hello, I'm a little tiny bot. And he's awesome. Um, and the other one's a rat bat. I've got some more there downstairs in storage, but you flick this open and there's a rat bat right there. Look, that's, that's probably one of the best engineering um, bits I've seen on a Transformer this year. Is eminently playable. There's um, there's obviously a laser beak as well uh, that I believe is red. I want to say, but yeah, this this version of it of the uh, tapes is my favourite rat bat. He's fantastic. He's tiddy. You can put him in your pocket. You know, take him to work when you're fiddling and trying to think of stuff. If you know, but without people taking the piss because um, there's still people that think that you know grown men shouldn't play with transforms, which is stupid as we know. And he just flicks open, and he's oh, I love this guy. I can I just play with him all day. I, I like to keep busy with my hands, and yeah, he's just he's just great just to fiddle about with. I love him. That's right back from Fall of Cybertron. Number two, um, number two is a market store pickup. 
Uh, I think it was a fiver for both of these. Well, I got Starscream, um, just to show you what I got for the fiver. He's cool, I like his spaceship mode, he's a lot of fun, he's kind of chunky. I've never had the, um, I think these are the Unicorn Trilogy uh, robots, so that's these two are my first. Him, but for this number two, Vector Prime. He is just seven shades of awesome sauce. I love him. He's just lovely. He's got a great paint job. His, his wings turn into a cape. His spaceship modes are so washable. It's like a big fighter spaceship freighter thing, you know, and there's a Star trek type um, show watcher, you know, that's always good for me. Um, great chest plates on him and got the weird cyber planet key. And he's also, as well, he's got his minicon. I don't know what this guy's called, but obviously I like Cyberverse size figures. And he's got his minicon gun thing here that turns into a plane and turns into a robot. And he kind of folds up like that and like that. And now he's a robot. He's just so cool. He's very poseable as well. Oh, yes. Vector Prime. Gorgeous. It's my personal favourite in terms of looking at and playing with and things like that. And you'll see what I mean by that. Um, when you see number one. Number one is a weird one. It's a batch of, one, of them, and it's not because I can't decide. It's just that these actually aren't my favourite Transformers. That was Vector Sigmund before, in terms of bots. But these are my favourite Transformers as a whole, as a toy entity, uh, not even as a collector. Because number one is a collection of bots I picked up at Play Expo. Uh, last year, I go to Play Expo as part of I'm part of Gamer Dads, and I, I report from from various expos and things every year. And at Play Expo, they have little stands, and they had a guy that's selling just just random figures, just play damaged figures and stuff like that. And I picked up these four guys. I don't know if you can see those right there. There you go. Um, there we are. Picked up these four guys. I think um, I offered him a fiver, and again, he was happy because he wanted to get rid of rid of them all. And these. I mean, you can see we've got um, somebody help me with his name, but he's at the four. He's my favourite. Nice G one E. He's very chunky and lovely and clicky and you know just like a big brick of cariness, and he just folds away nicely. And oh, there we are. And I've got part of a combiner, obviously. Um, alt mode for this guy is just awesome. I love the little fire truck. And just as a bonus, he threw in, because it was just lying about on its own, and the rest of it had Thundercats figures and He-Man figures, little Gobot as well! Yay! I mean, he's just, you know, he's loose and play damage, but I like him. He's all chrome and lovely, lovely, and his stickers are in good condition, and he's just very playable and lovely, and yay! We like we like him. And that's my reasoning for picking these four guys as number one. It's not, it, you know, there is a batch. It's not the fact that there's four of them and one of them's my favourite. It's the fact that, as collectors, it's hard to forget to remember even sometimes that Transformers are toys, first and foremost. Um, you know, and these are the four toys that my daughter's kind of made a beeline for. And I've been playing with my daughter, um, Cheeky Parrot, on YouTube. I've been playing, she's been playing with these and we've just been messing about together, you know, when you know when you have a bit of playtime and a bit of one-on-one um, -on -one time. She's, you know, made a beeline for these. She really likes the um, cement mixer one because it's nice and easy to transform, as with the ambulance and things. And she just really likes these. And she's actually got into Transformers and she started asking for, like, the one-steps and things, which actually I, I don't like, but... Obviously, as a toy, fantastic for a six or seven year old. So, yeah, these have actually got a lot of memories associated with them in terms of the memories of Play Expo and meeting up with the Gamer Dads and meeting up with some fellow YouTubers there and just some awesome people and having a beer with them and just having such a great time at a time that's particularly low in my life. I mean, if you watch um, my channel and look at the uh, beard removal vlog, the long version, you'll know what I mean by that um, and I've been recovering from an illness and things and, and you know it, it's taken me quite a long time to record this because you know I'm still having problems uh, speaking uh, it for long periods of time um, but you've got the associated memories with that and then you've got the new associated memories I've got playing with my daughter since I brought these home back in October um, and just you know her loving them and just 
you know, her getting into Transformers and asking me about the lore and can we watch the cartoon daddy and all that kind of stuff. And this is why it's number one for me. Not so much the bots themselves, but the memories associated with them. And it's also the reason that I like getting play damaged bots from charity shops and things like that. Because they've been played with, they've got history, they've got something associated with them, therefore they've got character. Um, I still buy the new ones, of course. I bought the Combiner Wars uh, recently, and thanks to the TFYTC for hooking me onto those. But yeah, this is always going to be number one for me um, this year, just because of the memories associated with these toys. And his head's not down. There you go. Just toys and collectibles and anything that people are into and passionate about. You need to be passionate about it, and you need to create good memories as well, because otherwise there's no point doing it, I don't think. So, yeah, lecture over. Hopefully you'll agree with me if, um, in terms of number one. If not, let me know in the comments below. And uh, you can find me on the TFYTC as well. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching that. I'll be back with some no more reviews of the Combiner Wars and things like that very, very soon. And until next time, I've been Moobit, and I'll see you later. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.